Welcome to Zwallertown. Do you guys remember SimCity Classic? Of course you do. Now one of the things, because I have had a little go so I don't look like too much of an idiot, um, shush now, is I can't figure out how to side scroll get the maps up so I'll do the maps. So what we need is, look at that, isn't that, don't you just feel like you're nine again? I feel like I'm nine again. Um, Oh, that doesn't really take much. So what we need is a power station. And I'm trying to remember because the pollution all goes in one direction. It's very basic. The pollution all goes in one direction and I think it goes to the right. So I might put a power station here. So excuse me while I've... There we go. So we need power station. No, that's industrial. That's a power station. And we'll go for coal because I haven't got enough money. There are cheats. I'm not going to use them. I'm better than that. And also, I can't remember what they are right now. But if I could remember what they were, no, now. So now we want residential. So I'm going to go over here. Because we don't want to build houses next to the power plant, do we? Who'd want to live there? We'll build them next to the water with for the wealthy people. I used to do blocks of six probably too much residential but I think we'll be okay and now we need a power cable not a power cable power lines power cable come on now can I edge scroll there we go am I even going in the right direction at the moment that's a little random one for later okay let's just no I'm not look at that I'm way off that's all right we'll fix it we'll fix it we'll fix it oh I'm not way off I'm all right shut up Okay, so we'll go to there, and then that's a double joint, just in case um, the first one fails. I am preparing for the future. Oh, there's edge scroll. There we go. That's much easier. Look, I've got people in my, in my town. They should probably have a road. Hey, now they can all drive from that end, down here, all the way up to that end. And we want commercial zones. we go so yeah it's a lot more basic than the more recent ones and the very very most recent one I didn't even like and I was very disappointed because I used to play in the 90s I played every sim game there was if there was a sim whatever it was I would find it and play it um, I'll go with those figures they look good to me uh, sim ant I played sim ant uh, sim farm sim park Sim Tower, Streets of Sim City, Sim City various versions, 2000, Sim City 2000, Sim City whatever the next one was, 3000, Sim City 4, The Sims. They wanted commercial zones and now nobody's using them. I feel a little hurt and offended. So we'll take a road over here. Oh, we can't because that's going to get in the way. So what we'll do is we'll pop in some more residentials behind the commercials. This is called town planning, people. And then we can take a road down there, like that, which gives people, look, they can drive all the way around the block now. It's so exciting. Oh, just trying to, so we'll go over here and here, and we will put in some industrial zones for people to be industrious in. And I'm going to make that an interesting shape, because I can. Oh, I've left too much gap. Oh, well. Such it is. Such it is. Never mind. So there's a huge demand for industrial. So that's quite terrible, actually. That's all right. That's okay. Although I don't think you actually need roads up to everything in this one. You do in the other ones. You need If there's no road, nobody will move in. Which I think's rude. So they wanted commit okay, industrial's still the big demand. So we'll just go back over here. It's nineteen oh one, so the industry's probably um, boot making and umbrella ribs. Is that what they call it? umbrella ribs? Is that what they are? Umbrella frames. I can't remember. I used to know these things once. Let's speed that up a little bit, because we've all got stuff to do today. Did that speed up? Oh no. Oh, that's because I turned the sound off. Okay. 
So we'll go fast. There we go. And I'll turn the sound back on. I don't know if you can hear it, because sometimes this records, sometimes it doesn't. So then we'll just go to average. Okay, alright, I'm happy with that. Oh, did I make minus five dollars? I should have paid more attention to my taxes. So industry's going quite well. Nobody's caring about my commercial zone. Shocking. Let's, um... Oh, look, parks. I remember parks. <laughs> that sounds like a line from a... Um, oh, let's put in a railway. Yeah? Yeah. Because if I remember rightly, there should be a little white train that just trundles up and down all day long. over here. Do I need to put in a station or does the train just happen? I can't remember. That's that. That's the road. That's the power cables. That's the park. That's whatever that is. Commercial. Alright. I'm going to do the old thing where you lower the taxes. Except I can't right now. Maybe I can. I can't remember. It's been a long time. I'm just amazed this is in colour. Let's uh, speed it up again. Yeah, yeah. We'll go fastest. I'm going to sit here until all those industrial lots of... Okay, look, we'll drop the tax just slightly. So I've got minus 28, but if I get more people in, then I'm, I'll make more money. You see? Do you see what I'm thinking? Yeah, I should really be running the country. 2,000 citizens. See? Everybody loves me now. Still no interest in my commercial zones, I notice. Oh, there we go. I don't know why there's a paved... Oh, we're really leaping through the years here. <laughs> just just slow that down slightly, perhaps. Um, I, I was going to say, I don't know why that's such an elaborate car park for 1905, but it's gone now, so I can't make that pithy and interesting comment. What else can I build? Let's put in a fire department. Yeah? Yeah. Everybody likes a fire department and a police department. Quite a lot of cars for 1905. I'm, I'm going to stop pointing that out now, I promise. Now, everybody wants to live in my town. Do you see? Do you see what I did there with my low taxes? Everybody loves me. How's the industry going? More needed. More needed. Uh, which is the button. That's the button, I think. See, as I was saying, I, I did play every possible Sims game. Some of them more than others. Streets of Sim City was terrible. And I'm making no apologies for saying that. My opinion on a game from the early to mid 90s is valid and on point. So, yeah, Streets of Sim City kind of sucked. But, um, Simcopter was quite good. And, uh, Sim Park. And it was at Sim Park that you had the African animals. I can't remember. It's all a blur. Nobody wants that commercial lot on the corner. Maybe it's haunted. I need to put in more residents. Sorry, I was watching the train. <laughs> Completely forgot to talk to you then. I'm very easily distracted by shiny things. I'll put in another road just because I can. See? People like roads. The first time I played this it was all pink because it was on a laptop that my father had brought home from work. Presumably to do work on, but we, we glommed on to the Sim City on there. <laughs> and thus begun my insatiable passion for building games and god games and things like that. I'm going to finish that road. I am going to run out of money. But you know what I'm going to do when I run out of money? I'm just going to unleash a monster. Because that's what you do in this game. You keep everybody happy for about 20 minutes and then you murder them all.
And then when you go on to The Sims, you can do that in a more developed way by taking the ladders out of the pool or locking people in a small room with an open fire and loads of curtains. Not that I would do that because that's probably the symptom of an unbalanced mind. Any comments you were about to make can just shush. Look, I'm $52 in the black. Should we build a stadium? Have we got enough money for a stadium? How much is a stadium? $3,000. Good lord. Airport's too expensive. Fire department. I'm, I'm going to build a stadium. Well, I don't care. Responsible fiscal management is not my middle name. People like stadiums anyway, apparently. But I imagine it would be annoying to live next to one. Stop me if I get profound. So, do we need any more? We need more residentials again. Can I build a school? No, I can't build a school. There are no schools in this in this town. It's just police, fire, and stadiums. What am I building? Residential. Uh, let's put that up there. Did anybody ever fill a map, really? Because I don't think I ever did. Oh, actually, I might have. And knowing me, somewhere on an old floppy disk around here, I have got that save game. I have quite a lot of floppy disks and nowhere to read them. I should probably throw those out. But, on the other hand, very valuable SimCity saved game. So, you know, that's going on eBay. 128, do you see? Do you see? This might actually be a goer. Because the idea behind this, of course, is that you build things slowly and you let your town develop. And I'm right up on the border here, but that's alright. That's okay. Um... And then you can get your cash flow working, and then you build a stadium when you can afford it and when there's enough population to worry. Or you can just do what I do and just build all the things straight away, see what happens. I can't believe I can't build a school. Oh, we should check the industrial zone. No, nobody's interested. Oh, there's that one. I think you do need to be near a road then. Do you need to be near a road? Oh, they moved out. They're very much opposed to that road. I signed all the petitions and I built it anyway. <gasps> Rude. Let's put some parks in, yeah? Yeah. They're only little tiny things. Oh, a little tiny park. So basically I just demolished some trees to put in a park, but I think that that's valid. If you... I'm going to build the... Oh. Bulldoze that. pretty much a straight line sort of a game. Oh, that's right off the edge of the map. That's good. Now people from other cities which don't actually exist can come and visit my city, which also doesn't actually exist. It's very zen. Wow, I've got 10,000 people in my city. I wonder what their names are. That might be too far from the... Is that too far from the road? Or do they just not want to live near the lovely water? Wow. Is there land values and things maps on this one? Graphs, budget, edit, evaluation... Does that do? Is the mayor doing a good job? 80% yes, 20% no. People don't like the taxes. Well, they can just poof it. Uh, I am playing on easy mode. Housing costs, people are upset about that. Well, they should, you know, buy a cheaper house. Pollution, well, you want electricity. 11% are worried about crime, but I built a police station. What more do you people want from me? Is there actually, because on the other ones, well, that's probably a bit more advanced than this one was. Yeah, okay. I was going to say on the other ones, there's crime maps, but I'm still making money, sort of. So they say that they want commercial, but then they don't want to move into that one. What's wrong with that one? What's wrong with that one? Now I'm taking this personally. I've built you a commercial lot. Let's build down here some more. Oh, poo. Uh, you know, I've actually got a touch screen on this PC. I wonder if I could do that. No, probably going to be a very bad idea because it's not going well with the mouse, is it? There we go. 
So let's build some more residential blocks. So this is very basic because the next one, I think it's, I think it's the next one, SimCity 2000. You then have to worry about. Oh, I've got a church and a hospital. Um, you then have to worry about water, as well as um, electricity. So it sort of gets more and more developed as you go up. And then they did the last one, which, as I said before, I, I didn't love. And I was sad about that because I, I, you know, I was really looking forward to investing very many hours of my life into it. And I just, I found it to, um, I don't know how to explain how I found it. It was graphically really lovely. I mean, it looked gorgeous. But the gameplay was frustrating and irritating. And you couldn't put things at the end of a road. And you, oh, it was just nonsense. I was really annoyed about that. I'm over it now. Sort of. $231. Woohoo. I'm going to celebrate with some more residential zones because that's how I roll and apparently people want them because this hospital came in and took up a whole block come on now where are my people supposed to live did they have bridges let's find out oh wow really bad at that okay oh poof Oh, now I've got a little permanent blob. I'm going to put a park on that. Yeah. <laughs> that way it looks deliberate. Yes? Yes. People like my town. I'm so flattered. I'm, I'm just, I'm happy. Look how small it is, though. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to desert my people and I'm going to load a scenario. Because um, these had scenarios, do you remember? Uh, load scenario. There we go. What have we got? We've got traffic problems. We've got flooding. We've got Boston, USA 2010. So far into the future. Detroit's got a crime problem. Dullesville's got a boredom problem. Tokyo's got a monster problem. Let's go for... I can't choose. Well, look, we'll go for... De oh, no, Detroit's got enough problems at the moment. We'll go for Bern, Switzerland. Save check... No, it's all right. The roads are becoming more and more congested every day and the residents are upset. They demand that you do something about it. Some have suggested a mass transit system is an answer, but this would require major rezoning in the downtown area. You have 10 years. Well, look. Well, see, no wonder there's problems. Yeah. So if we go down here, loads of hospitals. What's wrong with these people that they need so many hospitals? Well... Maybe if the inadequate rail system, you don't say. So I think the best thing to do... Why is everyone going around that little corner? I've always liked that little car animation. Because the best thing about it is that they get to the intersection and then they just disappear. Oh, I'm easily amused. But you knew that. Wow, that is a traffic problem. That's definitely a traffic problem. I don't have an airport. So I don't have the helicopter going around going... Um, Simcopter 1 reporting heavy traffic. Which to me, when I was like 9 or however old I was when I played this. Um, what year did it come out? Oh, I can't do maths anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, because it was the first game that actually had a voice in it. Everyone lost their minds. Let's just... I think the easiest thing to do, and no offence to the pe good people of Burn, is I'm just going to unleash all the disasters. Yeah, let's have a fire. Well, that's all right, because it's between four hospitals. Wow, these people are sickly. Oh, that's right. If you do a whole block of park, you get a little fountain in the middle. So that's a fire in the middle of the road. Let's have another disaster. Let's have a flood. Oh, that's very helpful. Quite some distance away from my town. What about a air crash? Oh, I do have an airport. So the air crash gave you five flames, except that one landed in the water, so it went out. 
Are you going to burn the airport down? What's that? Who knows? Uh, let's have a tornado. Because it was always the disasters, wasn't it? And there was, I think it was SimCity... Oh, it wasn't 2000, it was the one after that. SimCity 3? You could actually zoom right into your street and see all your little people walking around. And then you could unleash a tornado on them. It was pretty cool. Wow, I'm running out of money, but that's alright, because I've still got $18,000. Let's speed this up. Oh, it was on slow. No wonder it was so slow. I'll take that up to fast. I want to see my tornado do some damage. Okay, disasters. What's the, what's the next one? Earthquake. And it's not having a good day in Burn, are they? Now all the electricity's out. Police station's on fire. And last, but by no means least, Monster. A large reptilian creature has been spotted in the water. It seems to be attracted to areas of high pollution. Wait till it leaves and rebuild from the rubble. Oh look, my airport's on fire. Let's speed this up again. I don't know if you heard that, but the he helicopter just told me that there's heavy traffic, and I'm so excited. No, I don't know where my monster is. Let's see what the evaluation's doing at the moment. What's the worst problem? Fires! 98% of people hate me. People don't like the traffic, the taxes, or the housing costs, but most people are quite upset about the fires, and I think that's understandable. Where'd my monster go? Well, the fire department caught fire. Brilliant. Nobody's got any electricity. That's probably not a good sign. Ooh, police. No, that's a resident. Oh, that's the um, tornado that I unleashed earlier. Can we do two at once? Oh, there's my monster. So yes, hopefully, yeah. Have I got any taxes? I'm going to take all the funding down for the fire station. This is what the whole point of the game was, wasn't it, really? I mean, really, we all did it. Please tell me that we all did it. <laughs> Go with those figures. Uh, so I hope I've brought back some fond and squishy memories for you. Um... There goes my. There he goes again. He blew up the police department. But this this was genuinely hours of my time. So um, I can't zoom in. I was about to zoom in on the monster for you, and obviously I can't because this is like the 1990 version or whatever it was. Fire departments need funding. Well, they can just have a bake sale. Actually, too close to the truth. Um, so I will see you next week with a with another fun game. Hopefully, another fun game. This tornado is just having a great old time. Um, so yeah, this is available on, um, this is available, basically. This is a game that is available to you. It's abandoned where so you can have a dig around. Make sure that you get the DOS version or the Mac version, not the Windows version, because the Windows version is a pain in the neck to run. So I will see you next week. Thank you very much for watching.